After three years of planning, delayed due to COVID, we finally arrived here in Slovenia, one of Europe's smallest country. Although small, it is packed with everything we want in our travel. We have the Julian Alps with big mountain peaks. It has gorgeous rivers and beautiful lakes underground cave. Slovenia also has interesting culture. It has lots of quaint villages and beautiful hilltop churches, picturesque castles, and bears. In the scope of world history, Slovenia is a relatively young country. The state of Slovenia was created in 1945 as part of the Federation of Yugoslavia. Then in 1991, after a short 10-day war, Slovenia gained its independence and now it's a member of the European Union. With over half of its land covered in forests or designated as protective areas, Slovenia is the ideal playground for outdoor enthusiasts. But the main reason we are in Slovenia is to immerse ourselves in the beautiful nature that it has to offer, especially in Triglav National Park. We hope to summit Slovenia's highest summit, which is Mount Triglav, standing above 9,000 9, feet. Um, in a couple of days. So here we are at the start of our five-day trek in the Julian Alps. Today, um, we have the hardest climb of of the whole trek. We will be going to Kretorika hut and starting at Puyuka. Last night we stayed at the hotel center and so it made it so easy this morning just to get up, get started, and the trailhead is just right here. We'll be climbing about 4,500 feet in seven and a half miles. So it's a difficult one. We are gonna take it super easy and but not too slow uh, because there's going to be a weather system coming in in the afternoon. So we want to get to the hut before we get wet. Out we go. I've seen about Europe's mountain. This red dot is our trail marker, so we'll be looking for it. It's not that big, so I'll have to keep an eye out. There's a service row that cuts through our trail, but we're taking this way, this way up. It's a first steep climb. Our first open view down to Lake Bahim. It's covered in clouds and we hear cowbells in the distance. We're two miles in and we found the cows who have uh, been singing to us all morning. We're about two and a half miles in and the trail so far has been really easy to follow, very well maintained and clean. It's just been uh, really nice. We like the forest, but we really like the open, mountaintop views better and right now we're kind of in that transitional um, area. The trees are getting shorter and more shrub-like and soon 
there won't be any more. Our first pass and wow these are the views that we have come to Slovenia for we're about three and a half miles in 6,000 feet up and the trail looks beautiful Break time. Break time's over. It's time to get back on the trail. But before we do, I just wanted to point out that we see Lake Bohin down there. And we also see the cable car um, station and the launch point from yesterday's paragliding. Just poking over the top of those ridges, we see a little bit of Triglav, the main reason we are here in Slovenia. Tomorrow we hope to summit it, it is the highest point in the country. We see two huts over there and we think the further one, bigger one, might be ours. our destination for today. Oh, what a gorgeous day for our hike. I'm loving that we have cloud coverage the whole morning so far, keeping the sun at bay. The temperature is just perfect, probably in the 50s. Came upon our first set of cables. finished another steep section and we see the clouds kind of hovering over there and fog kind of flowing in. We are six miles in. We have a little over a mile left to go but it's 2,000 feet of climb all the way up to the hut right there. It's getting chilly. Okay, looks a little over around here. Now for the final really, really, really steep part. We're starting to feel little drops, raindrops, so hoping to make it to the hut before there's a downpour. to the hut.
the hut is right there, just in time because the rain is starting. Trek in the Julian Alps did not disappoint. Um, today we covered about eight miles and 4,500 4, feet in elevation. We got here just in time as it started raining a little bit, so that was perfect. And we also got our own private rooms, yay! And it's time to go have lunch. We're about to start our ascent up to uh, Trigolov Summit. We've been waiting since 5.30 this morning and the weather finally cleared, so we gotta go. We're clipping in, all roped up. We made it to the top of Small Tree Glob after a pretty hard climb. It's time for a little rest and uh, uh, the view's kind of uh, whitewashed. <laughs> How's it feel so far, Sandy? You're doing good. Doing my best. We're getting close. Our last rest before I think the final climb up to the summit. We made it to the summit of Triglav. It's the highest point in Slovenia, above 9,300 feet. Whew. It was a hard climb for us, but Thanks to our guy Igor, we made it up here, everybody's safe, and we've been rewarded with the sun coming out and a beautiful view. like weather's coming in. It felt a little rush coming down for we really could enjoy the climb this one.
morning of day three. It's finally clear and sunny, but super windy. Um, we stayed at this hut for two nights. After the climb yesterday, we just stayed and relaxed. Luckily we did because we got um, awesome sunset view. This morning, we're moving on to another hut. And after talking to the guide the other night, um, we decided to change our route. So we're not sure how long it's going to be. We're guessing it's around six to seven miles. Seems like we're about to head up to a pretty steep section. our first set of cables and we see another hut right over there. Just look at the beautiful view around. I just love how there's like green grass speckled amongst the gray like rocks. If we had taken our original route, we'd be down there in the forest and then we'd have to climb all the way back up. So this is a much better way. of the trail is such a fun playground. detour up towards this hut for lunch. Our actual route is that way. For lunch we stopped at this hut with an amazing view and we had vegetable soup with lemonade. Yum. So, so far we've gone three and a half miles about and we still have a little over two miles to go and about six to eight hundred feet of elevation gain, so not too much. We see the other side of Trigla behind us.
great climb up. We reached the top of the pass. So this is the first time we've seen a sign with the name of the hut that we're staying at tonight. So I'm going to try to pronounce it. Remember earlier I said it was like really long and hard? Okay, so Zasavaska Kozana Prihadavich. Something like that. Totally off, but I tried. <laughs> now it's Sandy's turn. She's so much better at this than me. I would guess. Zasowska Koka na Prehodovich. Wow, that sounds so much better. It was seems like an inhospitable landscape. We find life. We've seen a family of ibex. We found this happy face guy. He's encouraging us up the mountain. Thank you. We're entering into a new valley that we haven't seen yet. Excited to see what it looks like. our first grand view of the valley. We see the hut from here. It's over there perched on the green hill. We just slid our way down a big scree hill and now we are meandering through this big boulder field trying to get to the lake. What a beautiful flower-lined path to the hut. This is the end of day three. What a beautiful place to end in. We walked about uh, seven and a quarter miles today, only climbed about 1,600 feet, but today's trail was so much fun. There was so much diversity in the landscape and in the difficulty factor that it kept the trail interesting the whole time. What a beautiful morning in the mountains of Slovenia. This is day four of our trek, and today we're starting out a little later because we don't have that much of um, a long distance. It's only about 3.5 miles to the next hut, which is right in front of the double lakes. I've been waiting to get there this whole trek. It's one of my uh, favorite places, I'm hoping. We're in the Seven Lakes region of Triglav National Park and behind me is one of the lakes. Coming down from the hut, this is the second lake we see. This lake looks so clean and clear and pristine. Oh, I just want to jump in and swim, but we can't. Swimming is not allowed because of the highly sensitive lake ecosystem. Now 
that far from the last lake, we find the third lake. We've descended into the valley, and this place is full of lies. We've got bees buzzing, butterflies, flowers. It's just so beautiful. Boom! We see lake number four down below. With some pine trees beside the lake, this lake feels like a lake in the Sierras. We left the high altitude rocky terrain and now it's nice and green and grassy. Down into the forest we go. And here's lake number five. arrived at our hut for tonight. This is probably the most popular hut in the most popular region of the National Park. Um, we did about three and a half miles and mostly downhill through uh, various different types of landscape. Very beautiful. We took our time and we're here to enjoy the rest of the day in front of the lake. Good morning! It's the morning of day five, our last day on the trek. Um, after talking to some people about our route today, it was quickly decided that our route was impossible or impassable due to it being too steep and too dangerous. Um, our original route would have deposited us on the west bank of Lake Bohin, but now we're going on another, in a different direction to a shuttle, and that shuttle will take us down to the east end of the lake instead. And we've come to the junction where we are now diverting from our original path. We originally, we would have gone that way and that way eventually would be too steep. And so we're going this way and it should probably be about five to six miles. Off we go. That was our first major climb of the day. It was long and steep and uh, continuous. And hopefully that's the last major climb that we do today. We're about a mile and a half in and this view is just gorgeous. We haven't seen the forest from above this close and just all the green treetops. That just looks so beautiful.
another good climb up. Thank goodness it was shady. Just had a quick lemonade stop at this picturesque um, hut compound and now we have about two miles to go and an hour to get there. We want to catch the 1045 shuttle. Okay, I'll stop in to the bus stop. All right, we've made it here just in time for the shuttle. Now it's gonna take us down to the one. Thank you. And I... We just hopped off the shuttle and now we have a short walk down this grassy hill to the lake for a nice cold swim. We just finished a nice swim here at Lake Bohine, which is also the final destination for our five-day trek in Chiglav National Park in Slovenia. We loved every minute of it. The weather cooperated. It was very good all five days. We really enjoy the landscape. The feel of Triglav is, it, it's big, but it feels intimate. You go down one valley and you kind of have time to explore that valley before you move on. Everybody on the trail was very respectful. And even at the hut, sometimes we had our private room, sometimes we had to share one big dormitory with 32 other people. Even so, right around 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock, everybody was quiet down and it was, we were able to sleep really well even though there were that many people. We see a lot of families with little kids hiking up you know, big mountains with just really positive attitude. So overall, we had a really, really wonderful time here and we'll definitely come back.